that you're going to come across for your junk removal business, whether it be here in the winter seasons as we start to get to it, or maybe in general for early on in your junk removal business between typically months one through six. So one of the biggest challenges in business is knowing when to make an investment and when to pull the plug, right? So a lot of times what I see from people who are marketing either through us or in general is that as soon as things get tough, that is typically when they pull the plug from their marketing or when they just stop investing in the business in general. And you really need to have a deep level of understanding of when and when not to make these decisions. I'm gonna break down why. So usually when these decisions are made, it is typically out of fear. So they're not logical decisions, they're just based off emotions of fear of losing business, of slower season, of all these things, right? And the problem with making emotional decisions is that typically when we make an emotional decision, it's usually actually the wrong decision because we're making a snap judgment call, right? We're not really diving into it logically. We're not diving into it with analytics. We're just scared and doing what we can to protect ourselves and making a decision based off that. So when it comes to some of these decisions that you're going to make, especially when it comes to like maybe marketing or SEO or any other investments really within your business, you want to explore, number one, is this investment making you money, right? So for instance, if you're running Google ads or you're paying someone for SEO right now and you are getting a return every month, you know, 2x, 3x, 5x, 6x, 10x, you're getting a solid return. We'll say 4x and beyond okay because we all know that 2x sounds good in reality but if in actuality if you're looking at margins and things of that nature even in junk removal 2x you could actually be losing money when you factor in other fees so let's say about 4x right that's comfortable within margins so let's say you have a 4x return on either your seo or your marketing what i see a lot of times is people are getting a a pretty solid return consistently. So not just one month at 4X and then the other month they broke even, but a solid return month after month, usually, you know, maybe a 4X, 5X, 6X or in between, okay? And yet these same people, typically when things start to slow down the winter season, will pull away from it. And it's not because it hasn't been successful. It's because they're seeing the expense that's attached to it And mentally, out of fear, they're thinking, well, if I get rid of this expense, then this is a good thing for my business. If I can save the $1,000 that I was paying in marketing and not spend that during the winter, that's a good thing because we have less business, right? That's kind of how they're thinking about it logically. But what they're not looking at is the full analytics. So for instance, are you really saving that money? And you need to factor that into your decision. So what I mean by that is, let's say you're spending $1,500 or $2,000 in marketing. You're paying a company to do it, or maybe you're doing it yourself. And all all in all, it's $1,500 or $2,000 spent. But typically, your return gets you about $8,000 or seven or 10 from that marketing. Are you really saving $1,500 or $2,000 when you cut that off? Or... Are you in reality actually costing your business six, seven, eight thousand dollars that you were getting as a return? All right. So you really need to understand the dynamics of what your return is and how big of a part of, the, of it is for your business. Because if you make that emotional decision and you stop paying for SEO or you stop paying for marketing, and it's been netting you a return, now you've just made your slow season even worse. Because now you just cut off a major lifeline in your business. All right? So factor that in to your decision-making, guys. Don't make decisions based off of emotion. Now, if you're spending $1,500 on marketing and you're getting $1,000 back, Okay, now that makes sense. You know, get rid of that, especially in the slower season, because that's an expense now. But 
if you're getting a return consistently on what you're doing and you pull out of that, you're going about it the wrong way. You haven't saved money. You've actually cost yourself money. So you really need to know the numbers behind what you're doing and behind your decisions. And that's the main focus of this video. Don't make emotional decisions that you don't have analytics behind. Because for some of you, I'm willing to bet you're thinking about turning off your marketing. You're thinking about pulling the plug with a company. You're thinking about making a change because you're worried about the slower season. Before you do that, you really need to look at the analytics and see if it's netting your return and seeing what that decision is actually doing for your business. Is it a positive or is it a negative? Because if you're consistently seeing a return, that's actually a negative move for your business and not a positive. If you're not seeing a consistent return, then it's understandable. Then it's probably a move that you should make or you should look into either better help, better systems, whatever the case may be. And that's a whole nother video for a whole nother topic. But I hope this helps you guys because typically I've done this before myself. It's a mistake I've made. It's a mistake a lot of people make is sometimes decisions made out of fear are actually the wrong decision. And we think that we're doing the right thing for our business when we're in reality, if you've been getting a consistent return, you probably just made your winner a whole lot harder and not easier. So I hope this helps some of you guys with your decision-making process. Really dive in and understand your analytics and what kind of returns you're getting based on the investments you're making. Because you're going to need that information to make educated decisions for your business moving forward.